deal? Alright, camera's rolling. Okay. So what's, so stress, you think you know stress fractures? I was, running, running I was running 18 miles a day. It started to hurt. I was around mile 16, so I just finished up my 18 mile run. It was fine afterwards. I went for a 10 mile run two days later. Okay. Made it about 8-9 miles into it. And then I was limping the last mile. And you said that you had some stuff in the right hip. Remember the 10 miler? The right, it, my hip clicks when clicks. I okay. walk right. and whatnot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. check the whole thing because I don't think it's just gonna be, you know, you get the fracture, stress fracture, injury, just just rest it. Mm -hmm. But let's get on the in the underlying cause. Of this one. Can you sit back? I'll yeah. go back. I'll go back. Yeah. So, okay. Put them like that. Hold it there. Don't push down this way. Hold it. Hold it. Come on. You see that difference? Hold it there? Yeah, it's significant. Okay, get this side. Hold it there. Don't want to push down. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm trying. <Okay. laughs> Alright, we're done. <laughs> okay, now, um, alright. So bring your foot in. Okay, cut it. Get the other way. Bring your foot in here. Hold it there. Don't want to push <laughs> down. Hold it. Cut. Go. go out. <laughs> Does that bother you? No. No, hold it there. Go up, hold it there. Go out this. Okay. So, you, look, you know, look down at your toes. You might go like a little bird's eye view. Keep your feet here, or your knees right there, and bring your feet out that way. Both of them? Yeah, both of them. No, no, no. Go like this. And this one out. You see the difference? Yeah. Yeah, this one points way west, this one points a little bit more north. Mm -hmm. So it's just a limitation. Now, it could be because of the irritation, the swelling in there. We beat it up. Um, stand up. I'm sure. Put, keep your shoes on. Yeah, put your socks on. Just, just put them on. These are my running shoes. Yeah, it's fine. Those are shoes. I just want you to put something on your foot. Where's the other one again? Right. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to move the other side. It's not a cooking show before behind. <laughs> <laughs> I've always noticed that I run, training. this foot kind of flares out. Yeah. This one is very mm -hmm. steady and straight. Yeah. So, uh, already I can tell you that I think the issue isn't the left foot, it's the right side. Okay. And so, what I want you to do right there is I actually want you to just um, do like five squats, just like that, on the left side first. On the left side? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll do the right side. Good. Now on the left side, just I know you got you got the injury. Just mm -hmm. do like two or three small jumps. Like that. Good. Okay. Okay. You the right side. Okay. All right. All right. So you see how you could do it pretty pretty well. Mm -hmm. But when I tested you, the individual muscle sitting down, there was a lot of weakness. Right. This side. Mm -hmm. And the reason you're hit place is because you don't have stability. In so when you when you told me like, you didn't have a stress fracture, I knew you were right here. Something to do with it. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is this side is solid. So guess what you're doing? Every all the way on yeah. that left side. Mm -hmm. So you've already injured yourself. You've already kind of done the damage. What you got to do now is just rest it, mm -hmm. build that right side up, and you feel that little flare go out. Mm -hmm. You want to concentrate on that and try to keep it straight. But you're not going to do it unless automatically your muscles can do it. So strengthen that right side up. So at the gym, you're working on your legs, right? I was until I started the marathon training. That's okay. what I'm running. Yeah, uh, exactly. With the time you you got to do the strengthening, and then the running will come faster. Seriously, yeah, I told you this before. Yeah. You know, so on like the leg press, do one leg and leg press, right side, left side, and yeah. you'll see that it might wobble or be harder. Um, do that. Do the, everything one sided, and then mm -hmm. do two sided. But um, I think if you do that, that's going to take the stress off of that foot. Because every time they land, you know, the, every time they. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're jumping off this foot, your foot takes a lot of the hit, it might wobble a little bit, and then you're pushing off that left side. So it's like you spend too much time on the left side because the right side can't tolerate it. So gotcha. that's what it is. And then, mm -hmm. you know, again, right now, just ice it, rest it, let it heal a little bit, mm -hmm. strengthen the heck out of yourself. Go on the bike, go on it's the so elliptical, just do a bunch of cardio so you don't lose that. And then maybe in a week, I, I you start back running. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Like, you see on the quick way, it went to, like, that hip? Yeah. And you saw the difference, it just went down? Mm-hmm. 